Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we are going to look at taking off quantities of a staircase and we are going to use a, a neck question paper that was done last year. As you can see, we have the, the staircase. That is our staircase. First of all, let's look at the plan that we have of the staircase before we go to the to the section so that is our plan for the staircase that is how it looks like we have the ground floor as you can see we've been given the dimensions we have they're showing us if you are here down you are going up so we have these are the treads this is our landing. We have an intermediate flight and this is our landing. And then we have our second flight. And then on the, if you are on the first floor, that means you are up here, you are coming down. So it's the same. We've been given the dimensions. We have the dimension of the trends. We have the wall. And then we have also the dimension of the intermediate flight. So we look at this staircase, the section that we've been given for the staircase. So this is where our staircase begins. So we have the riser, the trend, the riser, the trend up, up to the landing. And then as you can see, our landing goes into the wall and we've been told the landing has a thickness of 150 and then we have the intermediate flight and then we go up to the next to the next flight now we've been given the details of a section a this section a here so we've been given its detail we have 12 millimeter plaster. This is on the soffit of the staircase. We have the distribution bars, the, sorry, the main bars. The distribution bars, we have been told it's Y10, one at each step. And then we have the paving on the, both on the riser and on the trend. And then we've been given some notes down here on which we are going to follow. Now let's start on taking off that staircase. So number one, what we are going to list is the items that we are going to measure. We have form work, we have the concrete works, we have reinforcement, we have the balustrades, and then we have the finishes. Now we start with the form work, form work to the landing. If we can look at our plan, we have our landing here. Our landing is from this point up to this point. That is the length and this is the width. So we need form work that will hold that concrete for the landing. The same because the first and the second landing are the same. So the, the measurements will be the same. And then we're also going to look at the form work for the trends and for the risers and for the also for the string or for the waist now what is the length of that landing and the width it we've been shown it's 1400 and by 1400 so we need that length and the width it so we say the length is 1400 by 1400 but they are two so we say swan timber formwork to the soffits of the landing now let's look at the staircase <coughs> if this is our staircase now the timber that we are looking at for is the timber that will hold this the the concrete at the soffit of this staircase from here up to here on the bottom of that soffit where our stair cases are laid on so on the bottom there we have a soffit here so we need to find that timber 
and we are going to get that timber by finding the length from here up to this point there and then the height and then we can now find the hypotenuse side now the length from here up to here is the same as taking this trend plus 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 this trend so it means it's the number of trends times the times the the thickness of the trend which you are told is 300 millimeters and for the height the height is going to start from down here up to the top meaning it's this riser plus this riser plus this one plus this one plus this one plus this one and then up to this point so it's the number of the riser times the times the thickness of the riser and then that is going to give us the height once we have the height and the length then we can find the hypotenuse side so how many trends do we have we have one two three four five six seven how many risers do we have we have one two three four five sorry how many threads one two three four five six how many risers one two three four five six seven so here it's going to be seven times the the the, the height of the riser which is 150 and then here we have six trends times the width of our trend which is 300 and then we can get the hypotenuse once we get this hypotenuse it's the same as the second flight here now we can again find the intermediate flight now uh, for the first flight and the second flight because they are the same we found there are six trends times 300 that gives us 1800 and then the raises are seven times 150 that gives us 1050 now our important inside will become 1050 squared plus 1800 squared and then we get the square root that will give us y the y is 2000 and 0, 83.9 now this becomes our y and then the thick the the length of that saw feet or the staircase is the same as the length of the trend which is 1400 now once we have the the y and the 1400 then we are able to find this formwork that is going to hold that so fit so this is the same as the second flight now let's go to the intermediate flight intermediate flight we have how many trends one two three how many risers sorry we have one two the trends are one two and the risers are three let's confirm from the from the sec from the drawing yeah we have one two that is for the trends so the risers will be the risers are normally plus one of the of the trends so they are they are three now from that one we get this side they are three and the trends are two that gives us for 50 plus 6 squared plus 600 squared the square root is 750 now we also have that that section that we are going to look for the formwork now this is 750 this is also 1400 it's still the it's still the same now once we get that then we can book for that formwork so we have the length the first one is 2.08 1.4 by 2 because they are two the second one is 0 0.75 by 1.40 and then we say so on timber formwork to the soffit of the staircase now to the risers edges of the risers the risers now are these ones this is a riser this is a riser this is a riser so we need these 
formwork that we hold the concrete for the risers to be formed. Now we find the length and then we multiply by the number. For the first staircase, we found there are seven. The second one, there are three. And the, the other one, there are seven. So we just book the length, that is 1.47. And then we multiply by the number, 14. That is seven plus seven. And then we add the three. We say swan timber formwork to the edges of the razor. The razor is 150, so our gut will be between 150 to 225 millimeter gut. Let's go to the edges of the string. So this string, this string here, this string, once we lay the concrete, this one side will be held by the wall, but the other side now we need a, a formwork that will hold this concrete in, in place. So we need the linear length and then by the number. So for the first staircase, for the first flight, we need 2.08. For the second one, we need 0 0.75. And then for the, for the third one, that is the second flight, it's also the same as the first flight. So it will be 2.08 by 2. That is the first and the second. And then the intermediate will be 0 0.75. We say ditto to the edges of the, of the string. Now let's move to concrete works. We are going to start with the landing. On the landing, we are told from the plan, our concrete goes into the into the wall. So we need to find the length and the width. It. Now this is our landing and as you can see it is up to the wall. So we add a length and a width to 1400. So for the length we'll add 200 and for the width of the landing it, it's 1400 but we have to ensure that it gets inside by maybe say 50. So we have this landing, this is 1400, but it's going to get into the wall for the length. And for the width, it, it has to get inside by say 50. So 50 to the, to the riser or to the flight, and then 50 to this side of the, of the wall. So our length and width it are going to be, we add 1400. For the length, we add the wall, that is 200. And then for this width, it, we add 250, that is 50 here, and then 50 here. That gives us 1500. Now, we have, that is 1.6 by 1 1.5 divided by 2. From the SMM, the concrete for the landing, we book it in square meters. So by two because they are two then we say vrc one is to two is to four in 20 millimeters in 50 150 millimeters thick landing now we go to the stair the concrete in the stair so that is our stair we found this length to be 2.08 so we first book the waist and then we'll book the these stairs that are are left. So we start by the waist, we have the length. We've been told the thickness of the waist and landing are 150. Now we need the, so this is the length. The width is still 1400 because that is what we had. So the 1500 now because it's also going to enter inside by 50 by 50. It's going to project inside and then the depth will be 150. Now what remains is this one the triangles that are formed here the rec yeah the triangles so we need the length the width it 
and the depth. Now, this is our triangle here. So this is 1500. That is the width of the trend. And then the length, sorry, the width, we were told they are 300 wide. And then the depth is the height of the, of the riser, which is 150. Now, this one, we book the volume and then we multiply by the number. So if we start with the waste, we have 2.0. 1.5 that is the width and then the depth is 0 0.15 they are two for the first and the second flight and then we go to 0 0.75 by 1.5 by 0 0.15 this is for the intermediate flight and then we go to the to the triangles now so we have half length times width times the depth. So we start by the width is 1.5, the length 1.5, the width is 0 0.3, the depth is 0 0.15, multiply by half, that is 0 0.5, and then we multiply by the number. The first one was 7, the second one is 3, and then the third one, they were 7. Now that gives us VRC in 1 is to 2 is to 4 in 20 millimeters aggregate in the, in the staircase. We go to the reinforcement. We go to the reinforcement. We are going to start with the staircase. From the staircase, we can see we've been told we have 12 Y12 at 20 millimeter center to center, and then we have Y10, one at each step. So these are the main bars, these are the distribution bars. So, and you can look at from the section YY, the, the reinforcement bar starts from here up and then it goes into the landing. So we need to find the length of that bar and then we find how many are they. So, that is how our reinforcement bar looks like. So this is the length that we had found for the string 2083. And then for the hooks for the staircase, it's 50, 50 times the diameter. So it's 50 times 12, which gives us 600. And then we also have 600. Now, for our bar, we, from down here up to the top here, we had 2083. Now we let's cover 225, that is 15. We are left with the 2033. And then we add the projection to 600, that is 1200. That will give us 3233. Now that is the length of that reinforcement. So from here going up, that length is. 3233 now for the second that is for the first and the second flight for the intermediate flight it's going to be the same we had 750 here now we had our length to be 750 so 750 we less cover that is 700 and then we add the projection to 600 that gives us 1900 now let's find how many are they, the numbers? So from here, the width is 1,500, where they are going to run. So we less the cover, because they are not supposed to start on the edges. We less the cover, 225, that gives us 14, 1450. Now, 1450, we were told they are spaced at, the bars, they are spaced at, 200 millimeters center to center. So that one is going to help us to find the number. So we have 1450. 1450 divided by 200 plus 1. Those are nine main bars. Now, because the width is the same for the first, second, and the third, the first. 
the first and second they are the same they are, so we have 9y12 at 3233 this is for the first and the and the second for the intermediate because the length is the same the length of the trend of the trend yeah it's the same 40 1500 we less cover we are left with 1450 divided by 2 divided by sorry 200 that gives us 9 so the number will be still the same but what is not the same is the length that we had found 14 19 sorry 1900 so the distribution bars we've been told is 10 y10 one at each step so it means at each step here we have one here at the step we have another one at each step we have one so we are going to find the the total number of steps the steps are the trend the first flight we had six the intermediate one we have two the second one we had six so that gives us 14. 14 times one at each step that gives us 14 bars so let's find how many bars are there so our length is 1500 we less cover that gives us 14 50 and then we have the bands we say bands say 125 so 2 125 that gives us 1600 so we are going to have 14 y 10 at the length of 1600 so that is for the staircase for the landing that is our landing it was 1600 by 1500 <coughs> so we less we less cover for the length 225 we are left with 1550 we add the bands say 225 that gives us 1800 and for the other side 1500 we less cover we are left with 1450 we add 250 that gives us 1700 now let's find the number of the main bars so these main bars how many are they so the main bars they are running across the 15 50 from here up to here that is 1600 minus cover divided by 200 because we are told they are they are spaced at 200 yeah they are here they are spaced at 200 they, they are y12 and then plus one that gives us nine and then for the distribution bars we are going to assume the y12 also at 200 but now they are running across the 1500 1500 less cover which is 50 that gives us 1450 plus one that is eight now the length of the the length of the main bars the main bars this is the main bar it is 1700 the length of the distribution bar this one is 18 1800 now we can book them together the y12 we group them together and then the y10 we group them separately so for the string we have a length we book them in linear length 2.32 that is the y12 the y9 this was the first and the second so we multiply by two this one was for the intermediate flight 1.90 the y9 in number and then we go to the third one we had 1.70 the y9 number that is for the first and the second and then for the intermediate we had sorry this one was for the landing we have 1.7 there were nine in numbers so this is the first we had two landing so we multiply by two and then we had 1.8 there were also nine in number and then sorry there were eight in number and then we multiply by two for the landing and then we say 12 millimeters high tensile bars to BS including cutting, bending, fixing, tying wire, spacer blocks as, as necessary. So the Y10 that we had was the, for the distribution bars. 
that is 1.6 they were 12 little but 10 millimeters diameter high tensile bars so let's go to the balustrades we are going to start with the handrail Now we have 100 by 38 millimeters handrail, and then we have the 50, the, that is the top, and then we have the 50 by 15 millimeters MS rail, that is for the bottom. So this handrail, it's, it's taking the length of the, of the string, as you can see, this length here, and this length here which we had calculated initially so for the first one the length was 283 and for the second one the length was 750 now we find the total length that is this they were two the first and the second so it's two times 283 plus 750 that gives us 49 16 and then the handrail they have a projection they are extended Outwards, we can say they are projecting at 100. So, 200, two that is 200. The total length will be 5,116. Now, for the bottom, it does not have a projection. So, we are left with 4916. So, for the first one, we say 5.12. 5.12 100 by 38 millimeters 100 and then for the second one we have 4.92 50 by 100 and by 15 millimeters rail so that is the handrail we go to the standards for the standards we need to know how many are they in number so we are going to count them so we have one two three four five and then the last one is six so they are six in number so we just say Yeah, there are six in number one multiply by six hundred by twenty five by twenty five millimeters standards. Now let's go to the balusters. So we need to find the total length because the balusters are running al along the the handrail. So we add twenty eight three by two plus seven fifty. That is fourteen forty nine sixteen, and then we are told they are spaced at one hundred and fifty millimeters. These are the balusters. These ones are the balusters. These are the balusters. So they are spaced at 150 center to center to center. So we need to find the number. The total length divided by the spacing plus 1. That gives us 34. So we have 1, 34, 600 by 20 by 20 millimeters MS mild steel balusters welded on the Andre. So we go to the finishes. We go to the finishes. We have 22 millimeters terrace of paving on the trend. We also have 20 millimeters terrace of finishes on the riser. And then on the trend also we have 40 by 15 cabo run drum. So we start with the terrazzo. So on the what we need is we are going to have our finishes on the on that service. <coughs> now we need the finishes from here up to here for the trend without what when what projected inside and then for the for the landing also we need from here up to here for the service that we are we can see all for the services that we are stepping on. That is where we do our finishes. So we had 1400 for the trend. That is the length. And then there were six trends by two. This is for the first and the second. When the mean date, the length is still the same. We multiply by two. We say 20, 32 millimeters terrazzo on the 300 millimeter thick trend. For the pay, for that razor, 
we also need the length that is 1.4 and then the number they were 7 3 and 7 20 millimeters terrazzo paving finishes to the 150 millimeters thick riser and then for the landing we have 1.4 by 1.4 32 millimeters terrazzo on the landing now now on the trend we have the carborandrium so it's 1.4 by 1 point that is by 6 by 2 by 1.4 by 2 this is the first and the second this is the intermediate and then we say extra over in the 300 millimeters trend for the car cupboard random size 40 by 150 millimeters now we go to the plaster so as you are watching this video don't forget to subscribe share and and leave a comment so for the plaster we have 12 millimeters thick plaster that is on the on the soffit of the of this staircase so the string was 2.08 the length was 1.40 that is for the first and second and then for the second one it was 0 0.75 and then 1.40 that is 12 millimeters plaster on the soffit of the of the staircase so that is the end of our taking off for the staircase guys thank you very much for your time and i wish you all the best thank you very much